What's up, Pisces? Hey. I have to pray to make it come my way. Hey, what's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Blue Phoenix, and I'm back with another message for us today. If this is your first time here, welcome home, my darling, my love. I love you. I've missed you. We all have, and we're so glad you made it home, boo. So come on in. I right, speak to your folks down there in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Your family, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Don't forget to visit the subscribe button, baby, so you can make it official and be a citizen of your home planet, all right? So come in, Pisces. I got a few downloads for us. And then we're going to get into the message of, it's just a message for you, Pisces. What you need to hear right now from your spirit team. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of us have been working towards things, trying to, not, I, okay, as soon as I said that, they was like, Ent. so it's something about your, your verbiage, your words, okay? So <laughs> they was like, it ain't no trying. You doing it. You understand what I'm saying? You doing that shit, Pisces, period. You understand me? Tell yourself that I am successful. You understand me? Right? Okay. I am healed. I am whole. I am worthy. You understand? It's something here about your language. I right? big up in yourself. Okay. Some of you guys might be expecting that from someone else. This could even be a boss is what I'm hearing. Okay. For some of y'all or like just getting acknowledgement on something. What I'm hearing is big up yourself, acknowledge yourself. You understand me? And I'm hearing you doing that in turn. Other people are going to recognize the self love that you're giving to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Cause what it's going to do is going to boost your confidence. Cause you are telling yourself that. You understand what I'm saying? What are you being programmed by? That's why they call the TV shows on, on the TV programs. You know what I'm saying? What are you being programmed by? Program yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we gonna, if, if somebody going to be programming us, okay, come on, source. Come on, spirit. And us. You know what I'm saying, Pisces? <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Exchange some energies with me. Help me tap further into your energy, into your situation. You know what I'm saying? What's going on in your life? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, yeah. Come on in, Pisces. So, yesterday, I was just, I, no, a couple of days ago, right? I wrote down my nephew's name and how old he was turning. Luke 11, right? <clears throat> Him, my son, and his, and their cousin, right? They all share the same birthday, right? Well, his is the day before. But anyway, <laughs> doesn't need to hit on that. But the number three could be significant, all right? Or something occurring in threes, okay? All right? But anyway, I wrote his name and his <clears throat> his upcoming age down on the paper, right? Days ago. Something told me to look at it yesterday. My attention just kept... Sorry. We're outside. We're, we're outside. We are outside. <laughs> anyway, um, so I looked at it. And Spirit was like, look it up, look it up, look it up. And I'm like, oh, so that name Luke could be significant, all right? That book of the Bible could be significant. So I never did. The day went on, and this song came on, right? Come My Way by One Day. But he's talking about praying every day, every day. He's saying, I pray every day for blessings to come my way. It makes blessings come my way. So it's something here about you connecting with your with your with god you understand what i'm saying with source energy being thankful communicating that thanks and that 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 appreciation to god you know what i'm saying for whatever it is. even i'm hearing even the stuff you ain't even got yet but you know it's on its way to you you understand me pisces you hear me i'm telling you now because it's already done you understand what i'm saying so i'm like okay spirit okay what you trying to tell me so i go back in the house after i'm riding around in my car you know what i'm saying getting lit whatever listen to the little music so i go back in the house after listening to the song and my attention gets drawn to luke 11 again y'all no lie i look up luke 11 the first chapter okay so 11 1 1 1 1 could be significant 0 4 0 4 was just on the clock pay attention pay attention to the numbers pisces you know what i'm saying the first the first verse in chapter 11. You see what it say up there at the top? Jesus uh, teaching on prayer. So I'm like, God, nah. you know what I'm saying? All these messages coming to me about praying, okay? Right? So it says, one day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. So I'm not going to read the rest of it, but if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying? He say the Lord's prayer or whatever. But it was... 11 9 all right so 11 9 could be significant 9 11 could be significant all right 9 1 1 could be significant anyway i posted in a community tab this scripture yesterday it says so i say to you ask and it will be given to you 
seek and you will find knock and the door will be open all right so it goes on to verse 10 to say for everyone who asks receives bruh the one who seeks finds what you looking for pisces you know what i'm saying what you looking for because what you're looking for, you're going to find it. You understand what I'm saying? Where your attention goes, your energy flows. It's just another way of saying it. You understand what I'm saying? What you asking for? What you focusing on? Right? You focusing on the things you do want? Or you focus on a current situation that may not be favorable right now? Where you putting your attention? Right? That's where your, that's where your energy is going to go. And where your energy goes, that shit going to be reflected back to you. It's going to give you more of that shit. Right? Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, you got your, your highlighters in your Bible now. Come on, all right, <laughs> all <little> no bad. Okay, <laughs> it's safe for everyone who asks, receives, the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, ta, ta, ta. what the door will be opened. You just gotta knock, right? So I'm like, okay, spirit. So that made me think because I'm like, I be praying all day, like, I be talking to y'all, you know what I'm saying. What I'm supposed to be asking for though. You know what I'm saying? So some of you guys, I feel like you need to set your sights higher. Literally, as I just said that, a fucking like hawk just flew overhead. All right? Look that spirit animal up. <laughs> Might have a message for you right now. Okay? It's something here about you setting your sights higher, Pisces. I feel as though, you know what I'm saying? It's time to set your sights higher for bigger is what I'm hearing, okay? The planet of Jupiter could be significant. Thursday could be significant for some reason, all right? But yeah, this is what I'm hearing. It's like, it's like don't feel like this is it or something, okay? All right? Okay, so I have these little cards here. And it's little cute little messages on them. So let's just get a general just card or a message like from your team to you, from your spirit team to you right now. What you need to hear? What does Pisces need to hear? Oh my gosh, a damselfly. Hello. What's up? No, that's a that's a butterfly. It's damselflies. I okay, a lot of feminine energy, okay? The hawk, I would say the hawk is more masculine. That's air energy. All right, but air energy, that's about what clarity of mind, communication, things like that, right? Mm, they're so pretty. It's something about being delicate, okay? This could even be with yourself right now, Pisces, being easy with yourself, okay? All right, something about not pushing something too hard, not not pushing something. All right, so I'm here to get this one. Soften and open back. Oh my fucking god. This should be blowing me though, y'all, sometimes. <laughs> Real talk. It's saying it right there. <laughs> all right, it says soften and open back into love all day long. So it's something here. You might have your mind on something too much, right? You might be in your masculine energy a little bit too much, even for my men's is out there now, okay? Y'all too. You know what I'm saying? All of us have masculine and feminine aspected within us. And it's supposed to be that yin yang, that dark and light, right? That mother father. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about that balance. Right? That's in. <laughs> Shit, okay? <laughs> I love y'all, man. But it says soften and open back into love all day long. Bruh, bruh is back. Bruh, hello. Hi. Oh my God. That is not a hawk. That's a big ass. I don't even know what color it is. Black. It's super big, though, y'all. That does not look like a regular ass crow or a raven. That look like a one on fucking steroids i don't know <laughs> so i don't know it might be something about i don't know you might need to switch your energy up ain't no might yeah soften up and i'm hearing for some of y'all this is with yourself about not being too hard on yourself too right okay taking that time out to soften up soften up pisces for some of y'all okay daily healing that's the name of this little deck right but they just pulled my attention to it something about healing healing daily right pisces praying daily healing daily growing daily right encouraging yourself daily okay it says right here what it say all right, it says, it says, I thought, y'all, literally, it's Ina Siegel. I thought it said inner soul. So, I don't know. Inner soul, though, please. <laughs> All right, on the bottom of the deck, it says, take time to tune into your body and recognize the messages it's trying to send you. So, let's see what messages your body may be trying to send you right now, Pisces. Ip it, ip it. Let's go down here. Oh, I was trying to figure out which deck I'm going to use. <laughs> All right, for some of y'all, you may have too many choices because I have, like, way too many decks out here. And it's like, oh, my God, which choice do I make? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, on the bottom of the deck is full moon in Aquarius. Be real. All right, let's see. Be humble. Be. Be. 
okay? All right, I don't know why that word is significant or even either that letter. All right, a Leo or Aquarius could be significant, but what is Pisces? <clears throat> what is the body telling up spirit? This is another card about keeping your heart open. Okay, it says keep your heart open for uh, first quarter moon in Libra. All right, I want to I want to get a little deeper in these. Let's see where we're going to pull them. Hold on, Pisces. Now, hold on. <laughs> okay. But we have keep your heart open. Step into your power. All right. I feel as though this is the I am. So, the, uh, the, what? <laughs> Those affirmations. The I am strong. I am dependable. I am honest. I am loving. Right? I am favored. I always get the best spot at the parking lot. In the parking lot. Right? I had ran into a problem the other day at Costco. Right? And the man was, it was just a big deal about getting this damn membership card. And he was like, well, you better hope some, some. I said, <laughs> I already know it's going to work good things always happen to me they always go in my favor he said damn i like that positivity and the shit work too okay all right pisces big up yourself you know what i'm saying okay step into your power for some of y'all this could be a leadership position though okay a setting your sights bigger okay on something right here it might be something about going off and doing it on your own all right, for some of y'all, you could be um, going from working like a regular job to wanting to work for yourself or something like that. All right, a business opportunity or something of that nature. But I'm here first quarter, okay? So it's something about, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling the Knight of Pentacles type of energy with that. Um, like, just take your time, okay? I'm hearing not to like, just to, to research, things like that for some of y'all that's, okay? Because there's something here about you elevating your knowledge. Okay. Um... And elevate in, in within elevating your power or something like that. All right. And then it says breathe through the tension. Up and then the moon, the way it's coming out, it looks like it's coming out of the ground. It's something about like groundbreaking. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is something about somebody wanting to, to step into something new, something groundbreaking, or either this is like the first time you're doing something, okay, all right, or breaking a foundation of something, okay. I'm seeing like someone building a building or something. Okay, so I feel like it's something here dealing with like I don't know, I heard organization. I don't know, but okay. Put that way you will, Pisces, all right? Scorpio could be significant here, all right? It's something about not bending over backwards or something for for some... Okay. Ip it, ip it. Breathe, Blue. <laughs> okay, take your time. Don't bend over backwards for somebody or something like that. Okay, it's a spider right here crawling. Hey, Mr. Spider-Man, Spider-Woman. Okay, hello. It's all on my cards. All right, the, look these spirit animals up, Pisces. You know what I'm saying? It could be significant. They could have messages for you. You know what I'm saying? Look on Amazon. They got like, um, you know, interpretations and things like that. Read the reviews though. <laughs> All right, and then you have relax on the bottom of the deck. Breathe through the tension and detox. All right, for some of y'all, this could be breaking away. Okay, a Taurus could be significant. Scorpio, Aries and libra all right some of y'all may need to break your energy away from certain other energies or something all right what's the detoxify and it says relax pisces soften up <laughs> let's see what we're gonna do hold on pisces what's the detoxify spirit Mm, a cancer could be significant. All right, I heard birth chart. Oh, yeah, cancer energy. Um, strong Pisces, too. All right, spirit. What is the detoxify for Pisces? What, okay, and we're talking about your body, too, right? Take time to tune into your body and recognize the messages it's trying to send you a tune okay look remember we talked earlier this is the king of wands on his head right king of wands upright is a leader he is powerful but he is it's not like he gotta go over there and be like beat somebody on the head with his stick no he good he gonna do it with his power right step into your power very very powerful um energy in the tarot deck but upside down he is like trying to make shit happen it's something here about stop trying to make something happen it's gonna happen in divine timing okay all right or something like that Relax, Pisces. Look, now nah, I'm telling you. All right, relax. For some of y'all, y'all might need to release and forgive somebody or somebody or something. Even I heard yourself. Work through your feelings is here. Mm. 
That sounds like a lot of self-reflection. Okay? It says, weak leader. I be, damn. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, so how we do this? Mm. Mm. It's something about you with the look. It says, forceful, vicious, powerless, ineffective, and weak leader. Tell me more, spirit. Hey, spirit calling somebody out today. I'm just saying, though. You know what I'm saying? The first way to change something is to recognize it's a damn problem. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So what is this, spirit? What is this that Pisces needs to detoxify from? Uh, Aries, Aquarius could be significant. Aries, Leo, C, uh, Sagittarius. <clears throat> this is interesting. Fresh start. This is this is taking a risk. This is this is once again going off on y'all. Okay, y'all could be separated from this energy. All right. Remember we said something about that earlier about separating. Yeah, when it said break through the tension, right? Like going off on your own to do something. I ain't seen two people out here yet. I don't know. That could be in any area, all right? Put the energy where it go, Pisces. If you need a personal reading, look down in the description box, all right? All readings are returned within 72 hours. All right, all the information is down below, Pisces. What energy is this that Pisces needs to detoxify from? What are the steps like, spirit? Big change. It's something here about not trying to make something perfect, okay? Or focus, okay, it's like, okay, all right, I'm hearing, I'm hearing to not worry about the outcome or something like detach from the outcome, right? That's a thing, the law of detachment, right? Look it up. I think Deepak Chopra talked about that in the seven spiritual laws of success, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think so. Anyway, go look it up, Pisces, but the law of detachment, right? It works with the law of attraction, Okay, like when you want something and 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 you know it's like you can't be you can't make something happen. You can't make this big ass fresh thought whatever this is, right? And then you got the King of Swords right here too. It's some about you getting in alignment here, okay? Because they pulling me back to the heart. You got it's some about your masculine, your feminine energy out here. You got the King of Swords right here with the upside down King of Wands. That is some really intense energy, real talk. But. It's like you can't be forceful with this new thing that you want to come in. You have to be gentle with yourself. You cannot force the outcome. You can't even attach to the outcome. You have to pray and know that that shit is going to happen when you ask you're going to receive my ninjas. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, we're going to take inspired action, but we're not going to force no shit to happen, right? Okay? And, like, remember earlier we was talking about, like, take your time with something or research something. The Knight of Swords don't research shit. That's my ride or die. You know what I'm saying? The Knight of Swords is who's gonna get up in the middle of the night and come and fight with you on some dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> real talk in this energy now, okay? All right? But real talk. That's crazy. All right? It's like, don't be impulsive about something. Don't try to make something just it gotta fit together like this i'm telling you when you know you got your folks around you your spirit team god your angels your ancestors you know what i'm saying whoever whoever you gotta give something you gotta give it this faith all right now faith without works is dead my ninjas you know what i'm saying <laughs> but you gotta allow as well okay so it's something here about first of all paying attention to your intuition right take the time what it say take time to tune into your body and recognize the messages it's trying to send you pisces right okay and not to get forceful with whatever kind of fresh stuff relax whatever this is whether it's new love new job new city new home okay all right, new fingernail polish. Damn it, okay? <laughs> Whatever it is, relax, okay? What does this say? Know your worth. Mm. I'm also here to know yourself, okay? All right? And look, focus on the positive because it's up from you, right? Tell yourself that, okay? Look at the sky. Like, literally, go outside. Look at the sky, but look at it here too. Oh, it's so pretty, right? Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. All right. Hmm. All right. I heard nebulous. I also heard Neptune. 
But you know what I'm saying? It is Pisces. You know what I'm saying? It's our planet. Also, Jupiter and the moon. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Open up to change, Pisces. Okay? Open up to change. Did y'all see the moon last night? I don't know where y'all live, but last night in my city, the, the skies were clear and I got to see her and she was so fucking gorgeous. She was in wax and crescent, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, she was beautiful. And she was in Gemini last night. The Gemini could be significant. All right. Mm. <laughs> Messages for Pisces spirit. What they need to know about their body. What they need to tune into. What is this? <sighs> Take time to breathe, right? I heard and to feel Pisces. There's something here about not being so, it's like, it's like, feel the situation out. Feel the way your body changes and the energy, you could feel energy change. Like, feel that shit within yourself, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm hearing. It's like, trust yourself. I'm hearing you got to get quiet to do that, though. Mm -hmm. Unleash your kindest self and go for it. It's a lot of Aries energy here today. You got Capricorn. For some of y'all, I really, really feel like this is business related or some way of making an income. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, for some of y'all, this could be even passive income or something like that, okay? I heard the outcome is beautiful, Pisces, but you have to trust the process, all right? The outcome is beautiful, but you have to trust the process, okay? Remember down there, it said, breathe through the tension. Is something here about maybe a rough patch, okay? Or a unexpected event or something of that nature. And it's something here about even in this moment, in this time, in this situation, to trust and have faith, okay? Every day. I have, uh, have uh, some, what do you say? I have to pray every day to make the blessings come my way. Check that song out. All right. Anyway. Hmm. All right. So Afro beats could be significant. A lo-fi. Okay. All right. All right. Hydration. I feel very dry right now. <laughs> you feel my hands? The bugs sound like I folded paper bags or some shit. What the hell? <laughs> I need some lotion. Okay, hydration, Pisces, right? Okay. Mm. I'm excited for you, Pisces. I'm excited for you. Shit, look yourself in the mirror. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited for me. I'm excited for you, too. You know, I really am. Mm. White little feather just flew by, floated by. I don't know if y'all saw the video the other day, but I showed y'all after I had mashed it all up. But one of those white little feathers just floated by. You are supported. <laughs> all right. Mm. Any more messages for Pisces spirit? Breathe through the tension, Pisces. Trust that it is all working out for the good. For some of y'all, it's something about a partnership here. This two of cups is sticking out over here, right? But it's something about you getting in balance first. Even a partnership, like literally, if it's not romantical, you know what I'm saying? Honor your feelings is here, all right? Be proud of yourself, Pisces. The two of cups, the meeting of two brings balance and harmony, partnership and union. All right, a Gemini could really be significant here. All right, or a Sagittarius. All right, oh, wow. The spider has successfully crawled on me. Now he's crawling up my leg. Y'all see him? Oh, okay, hey, spider. I don't know you like that, though. Come here, you gotta get down. Thank you. Have a good night, okay? <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's go, Pisces. Come on. <laughs>
The spider came to chill. Y'all, the spider, that's, that's been, that's, I, mm, I'm gonna have to look that one up myself. Ooh, shit. Ooh, message, message, message. Look up the spider animal, okay? Spirit animal. Power animal, I heard for somebody, all right? I heard snake as well, okay? Been seeing a lot of snakes lately. What is this awakening, renewal, reflection, purpose, and self-evaluation, all right? I heard self-accountability as well. All right, the three of cups is here. What about the three of cups, spirit? It's something about, I don't know, like you doing something, backstabbing, what the fuck? What is this, Pisces? Okay. It could be something here about a friend group and severing ties. Didn't we say that earlier? Yes. Okay. Or certain energies. They don't have to be friends. Just certain energies. You already know this, though. You already know this, though. Pisces, high priest, high priestess energy. Okay. It's something about somebody moving too fast around you or something. Or somebody like, I don't know, it's something here about a certain energy that you feel shifted is what I heard, okay? All right, all right. You got the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, though. This is this is a very, like, mm, you know what I'm saying? I heard, come hither. <laughs> I heard that a long time, come hither. All right, somebody could be smooth with their words or something like that, all right? It's something about you, you it, it, once again, trust your intuition. Whether it's a partnership or a lover, trust your intuition with this Pisces, okay? All right, especially with the judgment out here. What you, what you saying, spirit? All right. The number four could be significant. What you talking about? Seven of Wands. Huh. It's like real talk. Follow your intuition. Yeah. Look, it's something here about breaking away. This could even be a church. Okay, for some of y'all guys, for some of you guys, this could be a belief. So you listen to me. Look, look now, okay? This all right, listen. <laughs> all right. Look, you got the high priestess in the upright. This Pisces in is right. You got the high refined. This is supposed to be the match to the to the high priestess. You got him upside down and what what? No, right? That don't go together. Uh-uh, what they do? It's like leaving this, this community or something. Okay. That's on their head and shit. What the fuck? Connection, whatever this is. Look, the high priestess, the seven of wands, the three of cups, right? This a community or something. Or some folks in expanding, look to a higher power, a higher, like an awakening for some of you guys. Literally, literally, you got the judgment out here with the high priestess. It's like knowing your shit or something, or like even, okay, I'm getting a lot of messages, hold on. Honor your feelings, exactly. Honor your feelings, Pisces, okay? All right? All right, fresh start right here. The page, I mean, not the page of cups, but, all right? <laughs> the fool, right here, right? It's something about your vessel here, Pisces. Yourself, filling yourself up. I'm telling you, they keep saying something about filling your own cup up or something. I don't know. All right. Spirit, any more messages for Pisces? For them to tune into their body. Honor your feelings. Nurture your physical body. You know what I'm saying? Your energetic body as well. Your spiritual body. You know what I'm saying? Honor them hoes. Nurture them. You know what I'm saying? All right, look, literally, we're going to end it there with the Nine of Pentacles. Real talk. Look at this. Look at this. What? Come on. This is what I'm talking about. This is independence. This is breaking away from whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this is, whether it's a third party, whether it's a fucking uh, click at work, shit. whether it's a church, shit, a church group, whatever. Put the energy where it go. You know what I'm saying? Clarity on it. Let's break away. Be independent. This message been coming out a lot too. It's something here about, yeah. All right, Pisces. Don't forget to like the video. 
All right. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate y'all, Pisces. I love y'all so very, very much. All right. Um, let's see. Any announcements? VIP members, we having it live. I think it's today. Depending on when I post the video. It might have been yesterday. I don't know. But anyway, make sure y'all notifications are on. All right. We're going to tap in and see what spirit has for each and every one of y'all. All right. So if you haven't joined your plan yet, you can look down in the description box and press on the link to become an official VIP citizen. And you get a live uh, reading once a month. We meet up together and it's a dope ass beautiful ass energy so come through shouts out to all the vip official vip citizens and the planeteers as well all right y'all keep this joint moving rolling you understand me okay look six of swords healing moving forward right okay Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you got the eight of wands okay this is something that's gonna i heard expeditiously but you gotta have faith Go read Luke 11. That was the NIV version, the New International Version. I think that's what it's called. You know what I'm saying? What I was just reading. But anyway, y'all, man, I love y'all so very much, Pisces. More than you know, y'all my family. And I'll talk to y'all down below in the comments section. Peace, Pisces.